Hello everyone, this is Andrew from No Code No Problem and I would like to show you how we implemented the private chat example. After the initial setup, you as a user goes uh, through the profile setup where you would be asked to add your photo, name, bio which are required and extra photos which are optional and just if you would like to make your profile uh, stand out a little bit more. After that, you will have access to three main tabs here, my profile, people and chats. Uh, in the people tab, you will see everyone uh, in the system currently and be able to search uh, these people. And when you click on them, you would be um, uh, navigated to their profile, see their name, bio and their chat. If you have already uh, with them to navigate to the chat and continue uh, talking or a button to start a new chat uh, if you don't have yet. If you click uh, start chat, new chat will be created. You will see it right here. And as well, you will see this chat on the chat screen. Here you see all your chats uh, available uh, in, that you created in the system. Uh, with the red uh, circle, you will see um, chats that are new, like this one with Dan, or where you have new messages uh, that you haven't read yet. So if it's a new chat, um, it prompts to start the conversation. Let's type hello then. And when it's already uh, already has some uh, history, you will see the history of all these messages uh, on the chat screen. Each of the chat from each of the chat, you can go to go back to your this user profile, or you can edit this chat by uh, deleting uh, it altogether. That deletes for both items. As you can see, this chat layout and UI is uh, custom so that you can customize it however you like for your own needs and goals. Um, you can add extra features like copy text, delete this message, uh, edit this message, etc. Uh, what is uh, also interesting that you see the message, last message preview here in the chats uh, as well as unread message counter. Uh, and I will share in a few minutes how we implemented uh, all of that. Another interesting feature is that you can block users. For example, let's say I want to block Dan. Uh, and once user is blocked, uh, you will see it reflected here on the user profile. And you will, this user won't be able to uh, find you in global search or to access the chats, the previous chat. But still for you, this chat will be saved. You can delete it if you want, or you can leave it as is. Uh, and all these blocks users will be accessible through blocked users from your own profile, where you can see the list of all these users and unblock the user by tapping on the respective user name in this uh, screen. So this is uh, how the app works on the UI. Let's dive deeper a little bit into the database and the uh, computed properties, how we implemented all of that. We have a couple of tables here. The first is users that contains uh, typical columns like name, email, picture, bio. Completed profile is the computed property that checks if uh, all of the previous uh, columns that I mentioned are uh, not empty, uh, so that uh, when they are already filled, all of them, uh, the user has access to uh, other people through people tab. Hide profile is an auxiliary feature if you would like to temporarily hide your profile from a global search. Uh, extra photos are just to make your profile stand out a little bit more, not really important. Let's get back to this blocked uh, and other properties when we um, check other tables. So on the chats, uh, another uh, important uh, table uh, is the actual relation chat relationships between uh, users. It has a first user and the second user, user one and user two who are chatting together. It doesn't matter in which order uh, they are, uh, just uh, matters that uh, the necessary people are here. And uh, based on that, we compute a lot of other properties. For example, is this my chat that checks if uh, the currently signed in user is uh, either one of these uh, people, user one or user two. Not me is uh, the uh, other user uh, name uh, or the user relation uh, to be uh, other user email uh, to be more precise so that we can get uh, the other user and display it everywhere, almost everywhere where you see chat, you would basically see the other username, like here, Dan, Mary, Olivia, etc. Because I'm currently sending as Fred. And based on not me, we compute this relationship to these users and uh, their name, picture, uh, email, etc. 
uh, not me is blocked uh, doesn't check anything uh, we'll remove this table sorry this column uh, created that when the chat was created uh, messages is the relation of all the messages that belong to this chat uh, and each message if we go to messages contains uh, sender receiver date of the creation of the message and chat id and by uh, this id chat id we match uh, which uh, messages belong to this uh, chat id and also the text and a couple of simple computed properties like sender relation and sender name picture and receiver name receiver relation name and picture okay when you go back to the uh, messages we also compute a couple of auxiliary screens uh, like uh, to be able to display them on the ui for example the last message relation is the single value of the last item from the messages so that is the last message uh, and then we get uh, text of this last message and the send time and as well the sender uh, because uh, uh, the last message can be empty we also compute a special property that we actually display there we display not the text of the last message but this computer property last message info that checks if uh, the last message doesn't exist it displays send your first message prompt or the last message text if it does exist uh, this last read add uh, column is how we implement the unread uh, icon notification the red circle one it's a user specific a column user specific date that is set to the current date and time every every time when I as a user click on the chat so for example when I open this chat here my last read at is updated through the custom action here on chat click it uh, opens the details screen of this chat and also sets the column last read at to the current date and time and that's how we compute if the uh, this chat was read or not read uh, and based on that, we compute if, the, if there are new messages or not. A couple of conditions needed to check uh, that the last message is not from me, from the currently sending user, uh, that it is not empty, and that uh, it's if it is not me and if it is not empty, and time is uh, before uh, the uh, last message uh, time, then it is uh, unread, or it means it has new messages. And the, based on the previous uh, properties that here, we also have uh, computed ones like chat message title, so that uh, if uh, it has new message, then it's uh, uh, just the name of the other person, not me. If it doesn't has, uh, if it has unread, it's a name plus the red icon. If it doesn't have unread the messages, it's just the name of the not me person. So this is how chats are implemented. Another um, table that is important here uh, is blocked, where we have uh, who blocked it by user and uh, who was blocked uh, by this user. And when it was blocked and uh, this blocked user relation and the picture and name to display in the list. Based on this blocked list, this is, should be separate uh, table because both users need to access it. It cannot be a user specific property. We compute a couple of other uh, properties here like a blocked user relationship or the list of users uh, who this uh, particular user blocked uh, blocked by a list of uh, users uh, of other users who blocked this user uh, this in this in this role and their respective uh, lookup emails and then the condition if uh, I as a currently signed in user blocked this user means uh, if my email is among this uh, blocked by or if this user blocked me, if my email is among the blocked users' emails. So that this uh, help us define uh, different conditions uh, on the user screens. For example, let's say here, uh, we're checking if this user was blocked uh, or not, and also filter these users from the list, for example, here. Uh, and blocked me is not true, so that we uh, do not show blocked users uh, uh, for this uh, currently signed in user and uh, a couple of more uh, screens computed that uh, are uh, really necessary just for one condition on the my profile to show or not show start chat button because it is a little bit hard in uh, glide to retrieve a particular row in the table based on some condition like here we did some hacks uh, pulling all the chats uh, for the users 
from user one column and then from uh, as you can see from the user two column getting their emails and checking if currently signed in user has uh, is in any of that columns meaning if uh, currently signed in user has a chat relationship with this user then it's true or if it doesn't have a chat that is false so that uh, on the particular user profile here we can display either this chat if it exists or if it doesn't exist uh, the oh, it's not exist the button to start a new chat okay the, that's pretty much it this app is uh, free and available for uh, download at uh, privatechat.glideapp.io feel free to check it out play around with it uh, copy fork and uh, use it to create your own private chat uh, implementation or extend your own application to um, implement the nice chat features everything that i showed you was done by us at no code no problem development studio that helps you create awesome apps without no code uh, without code and just on no code so if you have any ideas or would like to, uh, any help uh, feel free to reach out to us at hello at no code.com or just leave a request here on our website no code no prop.com Thanks for watching and uh, take care. Bye-bye.